good morning. So, uh, oh, yes, I added some um, some plugins on my laptop, so they've probably just been uh, synced down. That's why that did that. Uh, yeah, right. So, uh, it's a bit pixie dev. Here we go. Um, Yesterday, I finished off um, pretty much the body of the expan uh, the expansion of a snippet body so that it can take um, these various um, placeholders and expand them to, in that case, a date. Or um, we also double checked and you know, got the cursors and things like that. Um, but also, we just made sure that this doesn't get expanded. Um, and instead, we just get the the raw dollar dollar um, with the collapse escaped, uh, which doesn't have a comment on it, which is incorrect. Collapse escaped placeholder delimiter. Um, What does it do? Uh, oh, it's kind of in the name. Um, let's say turns uh, escaped placeholder delimiters back into. I think we'll do that. Something like that. Okay. But now I need to start using um, the results of this because at the moment we're not using it at all. We're just doing it all in tests. Uh, so we need to actually start doing things. So the idea is that, um, say, on the CLI, you pass snippy big C, expand, and then the abbreviation. And what you get back is purely just the body, but expanded. So, um, <clears throat> let's see, we're going to be hooking this up. Um, I think what we need to do is get the daemon set up to do the do, and then we'll hook up the CLI. So let's get the daemon working in theory. So at the moment, um, these are the things that it can do. We can do add snippet, get snippet, we can ping, we can remove a snippet, and we can import snippets basically. Um, get snippets is used on all kinds of things, including an export. So we need to do effectively a get but it's always going to return in theory just a string with expanded stuff so Let's, yeah, we'll copy that, I think. Although, we're not going to do hardly any of this. We really are going to call this. Let it do all the work once I put it in. And then return the results. Don't need any of this stuff. So 
So let's just do it. Let's try and remember how to do these things from scratch. Um, no, I'll not do it after new steps. We'll leave that at the end. So, funk. Um, he says, can't remember how to do these things. It's going to be... Yes. Hold on. What am I using? Am I using service? Oh, that's a long one. S has a service, yeah. So S as a service. And we're going to have this be expand. Abbreviation. And it is going to take abbreviation, which is a string, and it is going to return the usual stuff. Uh, so that will be some sort of result and then a dbus error. And in our case, it's going to return well, I'm going to make these named body it's a string cursor offset which is an int and then a pointer to the bus error Let's put, let's put a comment on straight away, so don't forget. Expand, abbreviation, returns the body and So now let's do it. returns the body with expanded placeholders. Well, as the so offset. Okay. And then so here we're going to return body as offset no in theory but what we're really gonna do uh, let's see if I remember I don't need to do anything really other than just call that other function and then do a make failed error if there's a problem. I think it's going to be a super slim implementation compared to some of the others. Don't have any transactions. It's really a much like a get, but all the work is going to be inside. We don't need to do multiple things here. We'll make it a little bit easier to test. So, yeah. So, in theory, body Cursor offset here comes from. Uh, I keep forgetting what I'm doing now, so it's going to be s dot snippets dot get 
expanded body for abbreviation and then I pass in the abbreviation if uh, it's not equal to nil and I will return oh, okay this could be interesting can I do that can I do body cursor offset and debus make failed error yeah. cool that's neat otherwise we in theory got something that we can return All right, let's do this. I want a test for this for sure. So, um, first thing we need to do is we need to get a body. So we need to do a snippet thing. So we'll do Let's snip it. Maybe an error is equal to um, yeah, get snippet with abbreviation there we go if error is not equal to nil return body cursor offset an error. Otherwise, we need to actually start expanding the body. Um, now, that cursor offset, we always want it to start off at minus one. So we'll do that right at the top. Just to make sure. Body will be empty anyway. Uh, so then I think we can just call, oh, we've got to do a date. So we've got that far potentially returned an error with an empty body and a minus one offset, which is fine. Then we want to do, okay, date. Uh, yeah, so date is equal to time now. That might need to change to BUTC at some point. But really, it should be the local one. So I'll probably just leave it as is. Yeah, we'll see. Um, so that should just be complaint it's not used. Yep. And then we 
We should be able to. Yeah. We should be able to do. Cursor okay, so offset. is equal to expand body passing in the snippet of body the current cursor offset which is already minus one the date we've just created and the level of zero. And that's it. I think. Yeah, because we should get back a different body in theory. Uh, with a slightly altered cursor offset, maybe. We passed in the date so it can use that and the date expansion and stuff. Um, and we are starting off at level zero, no matter what. Yeah, okay. Now we should probably give that a little test. Um, so... Yeah, we'll do a very quick one. Oh, what's in my eye? Uh, what have we got? That's easy peasy to nick. Uh, that's a little bit. That's a reasonable test, that one. So let's do that. Uh, well, actually, I'm just going to take this bit. I want to see what happens when I try and... Uh... Just that. Uh, okay. Think about it. Is this in the right place? I might move this. Yeah. So really, I think... I think it would be better in here in the snippets. It doesn't, in theory, need to know that it's all related to placeholders because it's... Well... I guess it is. I 
at least then you know you've got all the cursor offset stuff and whatnot in there and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it there. Yeah. Okay. So we need a new test. So func test. Uh, that one. Thank you very much. Pass that in. That's actually okay as a comment. Now things are slightly different now. So we want here. We want nation, <clears throat> and that's simply going to be. In this case, that. Then expect is okay. And then we need to change this. And we pass in an abbreviation. Um, what else does it have? That's it, isn't it? It's what it returns that's important. It returns an actual body um, and a cursor offset. Potentially an error. Cursor offset and maybe an error. Uh, so what we want to do is no error expanded body for creation and then we want to check that we expected matches the actual um, and in this case, we don't have any cursor offsets, so we expect uh, minus one to be the returned offset. Okay. And we don't need time, because that's going to be figured out. Which is going to be problematic for testing the date placeholder. Well, the time placeholder. Well, not that difficult. We just have to do tests where it's... Mm. Yeah, there's going to be some flexibility there on the date time. Bit of a problem that. Maybe just have to make it match format. Okay, right, so let's test that. Uh, so we want to here. We are in the right place. Make test. Let's make sure it does not work. Oh, interesting. How did that? I, did I not test this? Hmm, okay. Three, two, five. Oh, 
oh, I did change it after the fact, but didn't use it. That's right. Let's double check. Um, snippet placeholder. Right, I'm doing a different level of recursion. Am I? No, I'm not. Um, okay, so that's snippet three. Do 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 snippet three. That's passing at the moment. Level two, snippet three. This is level three. Oh, I am. I am doing an, an extra level of recursion. Is that correct? Yeah. Zero, one, and two. That's correct. Don't, yeah. Yeah, okay. That is correct. I do three expansions, effectively. And then the last one will not recurse so it will not go into escape test so that's okay i just need to add that Yeah, because the other thing, because the other test is actually um, one, two, three. I don't know how that's got to that, actually. Somebody. It should be the same. We should have snippet get expanded.
It all comes in at one. Yes, it is offset. That's right. When I'm doing an expand body test, we've already. No, it's the same. Same body. So we come in and we do the one to snip it one. So we switch it to level one, and we do the snippet one. Pass that in to expand, and we get to level two. That comes back out, does another expand. So it gets us to level three. That says, okay, I can still do another expand. It says, okay, let's go. And then it says, oh, no, nope. go to level four. So I can't expand to that. And I can remain at that. Just fine. That's the way it should be. We'll get three expansions. So, well, we basically block the third request. So there's one recursion into that. Actually, that's maybe not expanded enough. Hmm. That test wasn't incorrect, was it? No, it's a zero. Yeah, that's not right. One, two, I expected a third expansion there and then stop. Hmm. I think that is incorrect, and I don't know why it's passed on the other one. It should really be like this. On the original test with expand body. Yeah, there was something wrong there. I need to fix that. 
So let's run that again and we should get an earlier fail. Yep. Yeah, so level zero curses into one, two, three. That's what I want. I want three recursions, then stop. I don't want it to stop on the third. I don't want just two. I want, you can do three levels and then the fourth plus will not expand. So something wrong in expand body. Yeah, well, is it expand body or expand snippet? I think I think what I'll do is rather than change the numbers because they make sense, do that. So if it comes in, and it's already greater than three, So it comes in zero. I'm going to drop through and do it. Um, and the next expansion comes in as one, which is okay. It gets it number two. Does another expansion. It's okay. Increase to th so it's okay. Increases to three. Does the thing still okay? So we get that fourth thing. So three recursions after the first. Expands. Yeah, the number goes up. Next one just doesn't go anywhere and returns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just got to be careful about getting that number. Now this means something wrong maybe with this last one. How is that doing something different? Because now it's gone one more. And I don't know why. I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I don't get it. Why? Why is this any different? Which one's one zero?
That makes no sense whatsoever. We're passing in zero there. And then we're therefore getting one, two, three expansions. Recursions. So that's one level, two level, three level. Hold on a minute. It's a different test. So of course. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're numpty. Yeah. So this has been. Yeah. So which one was right? At the moment, the first test, the snippet test, recursion test. It's expanding that from like here as such to get that as the first so I might have been right the first time so that is one recursion because we're using that in a expand in a placeholder so that is the Hmm. One. Have a look at the next one. Two. Have a look at the next one. Three. I need to be careful here because we've got existing. I don't want to break anyone. If anyone has done this, I doubt it. But if anyone has, I need to be careful not to break it because they expect to not to get the recursion level. Um, where are we? That's too far. Okay. Come out of level zero. Instantly update. Then do the year. So I am doing the, the other version. So come in here. Expand snippet placeholder. So we're right, so we're at one on the first iteration through. Where is the stuff? Ah, oh, you're in this one. So always going to come in here to level one.
and then record it again. Level one. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we are. I should put it back to how it was for safety. So we come in, we do cool one. So that's one expansion. So in the original test, that gets us zero. Comes back round, updates to number two, which is OK, which gets us level one. Comes back round, updates to three, still OK. Comes through expands to level two, comes back round. Stops, because we've updated to number four. Yeah. Okay. Um, mind you, there's a quick way to test this. Uh, did I pick the wrong one? I oh, know I did. That's fine. Level zero. It's got different things in it. Level one, level two, level three. Doesn't expand. Yeah, and then I've got, yeah. Fine. Okay. So I need to go back to my hat. That was correct. And it's just that my test has to be different on the second one. Uh, so this needs to revert, and I need to make sure this yes, this is correct now in theory because it's doing. Different setup, yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Get expanded by a very fish. Okay. All right, sorted. Uh, we're not going to get as far as I hoped. I thought I might get it hooked up into Dbus, but I'm going to have to be done in a minute. Um, Okay, we'll do a very simple quick test here as well. Uh, we'll just do 
SP. So yeah, I could have done that if one guy there. Do that. Then that should be simple. And then for the cursors, I want to check that we do a cursor change. Uh, where do I have the cursor? Oh, email. Okay, um, so I've probably got, where's that email one? There. Let's take that. I'll retest it, but with a higher level. Expecting that. Let's see if that works. Good stuff. All right. So we've now got a ex get expanded body for abbreviation. Um, and in theory, we've got expand abbreviation uh, service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit that. Oh, before I do that. I'll test from the top. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's, um, oop. expand abbreviation deep bus service. In theory, but unused. And we will test it another day. Tomorrow, hopefully, for me. Okay. So, yeah, my to do's are. Um, where's the bit I need? Debus service. To do. Expand. Variation. Okay. 
That lets me know what I've got to do tomorrow. Cool. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care. Bye.